Hello and welcome back to Genesis Designs and Modelcraft and welcome back to Chatterbox with me, Jen, still ably supported by Yeti and coffee. This coffee is Taylor's of Harrogate, uh, ground Lazy Sunday, strength three. Mm. Just a job. I know I haven't done a Chatterbox for a few weeks. Uh, I've not, I have been really, really busy at the bench actually getting on. Uh, getting on with the blackbird, getting on with the spitfire, getting on with the mosquito and actually a vulcan being built at the side as well, which if you do follow the Facebook page you will have seen various photos of that. Um, so I've not had little things coming across the bench to talk about so much. I did buy some new tweezers. I thought I might see if I couldn't get some better ones and someone offered a tip to get look out for watchmaker's tweezers. So I went into Amazon and put in watchmaking tweezers and I found these to what um, non-magnetic high precision tweezers and they're really very nice Got a lovely sort of brush stainless steel finish they feel nice nice amount of tweeze when you squeeze them together uh, and lovely fine points that actually meet properly so these these are really nice and I'll stick a link below if anybody just wants a decent sort of single pair of tweezers and the price on those was four ninety nine, so not terrifically expensive still. I uh, could certainly pay a lot more, um, but they're a significant improvement on the sort of less than one pound tweezers that I've been using up to then. Uh, next on the agenda stickers. Uh, everybody loves the Genesis sticker, it seems. Um, and a few people commented that they thought the Chatterbox logo would make a great sticker, and I completely agree. Uh, I get my stickers from this place called Moo. And, and I've had some chatterbox ones done and here they are circular and very glossy um, considerably more expensive than these actually uh, but these will these will be making a, an appearance in uh, in giveaways to come uh, speaking of giveaways uh, if anyone's watching that won any of the prizes in the last one I have to offer my humble apologies that I have not sent, yet sent them out. Uh, the main prize winner uh, never did get in touch with me, so I cannot send that out. And I will admit I've been waiting. I wanted to send them all together. Uh, and on top of that, things have been a bit leery at work and stuff's not, not great at home. So I've, I've been kind of just getting on with life a little bit and that's why they've not been sent so I will apologise for that but I will get it sorted in the near future and, uh, and I'll chuck a chatterbox sticker in as well just to soften the blow um, but then this week I picked something up from Vincent Models for sale that I thought yes I can do a chatterbox on this and here it is the Revel Mark II Spitfire in 32nd but this is the Iron Maiden Aces High Spitfire so the deal with the Iron Maiden Spitfire, um, it first appeared on the artwork for the record cover of the Aces High single. The single was released in 1984 and was from the album Power Slave. And since then, Iron Maiden have regularly used a Spitfire prop on stage and, and that's where this has come from. Revel decided to replicate it with this kit. Now the kit you get inside it is just the standard Revel Mark II. This one, I kind of think of it as being quite new, but was slightly astonished to read in the the printings here that this kit was actually re <laughs> was actually released in 2014. Time flies. Um, I'm not going to lie. I can't recommend this as a sensible replication of a Spitfire. Um, I'm not a I'm not a self-confessed Spitfire expert by any means. Um, but I am very keen on Spitfires. I've spent a fair bit of time around real ones and looking at them what, and what have you. And the shapes of this kit are awry in multiple areas. However, what this kit is, is astonishingly good value for money in the current market. It's a nice and it's a quick and it's an easy build. Um, you do get some extra things in it on the account of it being the Iron Maiden special version. First and foremost you get a little bag of junk. I, I jest. These, uh, these are the Revel acrylic paints and to be honest if you just want to paint something with a brush these are actually pretty decent. You get a small size contact glue and a brush. 
if nothing else those are great to keep to one side for the kids um, and you get this extra sprue here of eddies uh, you get two eddies in the kit eddie being the sort of skull face mascot of the band you get a seated one to fit within the model and you get a standing one which you could display next to it should you wish to and these figures are beautiful if I come in close there the detail and the sculpting on these is absolutely fantastic for some reason my kit has two here is the other one still in its bag and the style of bagging and the style of moulding and thinking about the people that Revel do regularly collaborate with does make me wonder if they didn't commission ICM to do this because ICM figures are excellent and these these figures are also absolutely excellent I did get two bags of paint and brush as well I don't, that's obviously a mistake on Revel's part but I don't mind and then you do obviously get the Iron Maiden uh, branding on the decal sheet with the serial number 666 again the branding is strong throughout the instructions but you do as you've seen from the decal sheet actually get the option to do an ordinary mark 2 should you wish and then of course the instructions there for the Ace's High Spitfire and of course painting instructions for dear old Eddie the decals do look nice on the sheet they're really well printed everything's in register you do get an instrument panel decal there should you choose to use it although the instrument panel is molded quite well so it's not entirely necessary um, and just to just to show that this is to be fair it's not accurate but it is quite a worthy kit in the best tradition of blue peter for my british viewers and craft and cookery shows the world over here is one i made earlier uh, I made this when the kit was initially released in this form a few years back um, and as you can see hopefully it, it just it does go together perfectly fine the big boxy nose and the chunky canopies and just the weird shapes generally are very evident of course but arguably moot when one's modelling a, a representation of a, of a blow up stage prop you know so uh, it's heavily weathered in this case because the one on the album artwork appears to be and clearly I painted it the wrong colours as well uh, and yeah I painted it the wrong colours because I based my model on this image which is from you know the, the, the record cover and as you can see those those colours don't really fall into the dark earth dark green either so I, I used the picture rather than any sort of reality uh, the colours I actually used <coughs> if I remember correctly this is XF70 uh, Tamiya, which is actually um, IJN green, dark green 2 IJN. Uh, the brown is XF9 whole red, and the underside, flippity flip, it is RLM78, uh, although I think I may have made it a touch bluer uh, when it came to it. But as you can see, it's a perfectly decent looking model when, it, when it's put together, and it's something a little bit different and ideal for those of us that enjoy Iron Maiden or, or sort of metal music in, in general I built this one for my husband who is a keen fan of Iron Maiden and a guitarist uh, which brings me on to the theme tune of the channel uh, he composed that, it's an original composition by my husband that's why he's credited on every video um, and there have been a couple of comments over time about you know, some people feel it isn't really in keeping with my presentation style or that maybe it's a bit loud. So when I asked him to create that piece of music specifically for this channel, um, the brief I gave him was that I wanted it to be reminiscent of a song by Whitesnake called Here I Go Again, um, because that tune is quite significant to me in my life. Um, because when I joined the RF back in... 2002 one of the first lessons that, that I ever had at Halton um, on I thought it was a general service knowledge or some nonsense like that but they showed us a video and this was a video of uh, you know RAF pilots being pilots um, fighter pilots during the Gulf War the original Gulf War 
uh, lots of footage of tornadoes and jaguars and buccaneers flying low and blowing stuff up and you know good old boy stuff and the theme tune to that video was white snakes here i go again and it stuck with me honestly ever since i call it the inspiration song so i couldn't use white snakes music on my videos clearly um, but i asked him to sort of write my theme tune for this channel with that in mind and that that's where it's come from and that is why it is actually entirely relevant to me and that's why it's not going to change anytime soon um those of you that watch reg regularly if you do hate the music i'm, I'm sorry you, you know how long that, that intro lasts by now you can skip it easily enough but hopefully you'll tolerate it a bit better knowing the story behind it but anyway this is the iron maiden revel spitfire mark ii as I said, Vince at Models for Sale has just got some in. He currently is showing three left on stock and he is selling them for $29.99. An absolute bargain for this kit. It really is. If you don't, Even if you didn't want to build it as the Iron Maiden version, there are plenty of aftermarket decals out there. And despite not being super uh, detailed or super accurate, this is a perfectly worthy kit, especially at that price. He does assure me he's got more coming. Uh, and I think he's taking some to Telford. He also has a bunch of other Revel stuff available at the minute at some really good prices. Vince is a good friend of mine, has been for a long time, all round good bloke, and he does a lot for the for the modelling community in general. He's a great guy. Lots of good stuff in his shop. Uh, good prices and good service too. So any traffic you can put his way, I, I'd really appreciate. So having mentioned Telford in passing there, um, I'm afraid I won't be going this year. I did have it in mind to go, but I have been selected by my employers to go on a short trip with work so I won't be around and, and therefore unable to attend that weekend which is a shame because I've not been for a couple of years now um, but there's much more stuff c coming up on the channel I've got a selection of reviews in the pipeline from the likes of Armour Hobby, Airfix and Clearprop actually as well I think that might be a first for me um, the modelling for, for beginners series will be continuing on a weekly basis with that mosquito build. I'm really enjoying that one and I'm enjoying interacting with all of the people that are building along so thanks to them for that. Uh, and episode 2 of the Silver Spitfire build will be coming very very soon as well um, with some, some more aftermarket you'll be pleased to hear and some really, really good news as well. So look out for those things and I look forward to seeing you along on those videos. So I think we'll leave this chatterbox there. Rock and roll and Telford co covered satisfactorily, I think. Uh, I, hope, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone's continuing support. I really do appreciate it. So with all of that said, it only remains for me to say, look after yourselves, look after each other, and Genesis out.